Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing good. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So I'm doing a very exciting video today. I'm gonna be doing a haul of my favorite foods from Trader Joe's. I love food more than I even love hair products. I've had a couple of grocery store hauls on my channel before. I'll get home and do like an impromptu live video showing you guys what I've gotten. But this is my first like camera setup food haul video so I'm really excited so I like to get my groceries from a variety of different places I like going to Wegmans every blue moon they're pretty far from my house and kind of pricey so that's like a treat yourself type of grocery trip and I got most of my meats from food line because I find that they're the best value and I also go to Walmart to get certain things because they're really affordable like sauces and spices and oils and things like that but I would have to say that Trader Joe's is my favorite grocery store overall because I'm a very very picky eater the things that I like and don't like are very, very singular. And I find that Trader Joe's has the best variety of pre-made foods that I really like, as well as different ingredients that I can put together and also stuff that's unique to them. Let's get started with snacks. The first one that I have here is their sweet potato tortilla chips. The flavor on these is slightly sweet, but more so you get that corn tortilla chip flavor. It has a saltiness to it, so it has a nice marriage of sweet and salty, so these are really, really good. And they're also filling due to the sweet potato. I find that I feel fuller eating these than when I eat normal corn tortilla chips. So my friend told me that she liked these more than the flaming Hot Cheetos and I knew I had to try them because I love anything spicy. And these are the Trader Joe's version, the Spicy Cheese Crunchies. And these are also only $1.99 and they're filled up like all the way to here, which is unheard of for so many chips. You usually get this and like the rest is air, which is so infuriating. But these, you get your money's worth like we're up to here with the amount of product that's in here, so I love that. So these are really good. I find that they're not as spicy as the Flamin' Hot Cheetos. They have more of an onion flavor, so it's almost like Funyun plus spicy. I really like these, and I would have to say that I also enjoy them more than the Flamin' Hot Cheetos because they just have more of a variety of flavor in here. I really like it. You definitely pick up on the garlic powder. As I mentioned, you taste a lot of onion in this, and I'm someone that doesn't like actual onions, but I like the flavor of onions. And rounding out my favorite chips from Trader Joe's, we've got the organic elote corn chip dippers. Now they have two different versions. They have a regular corn chip version and then they have this elote version. And you guys have probably heard of elote corn. Um, it's a Mexican treat where it's like a corn on the cob with mayo and spices. I don't like mayo either, so again, I'm super duper picky, but I like some of the flavors that you get from those things. And these are perfect. They're almost like Cool Ranch Dorito seasoning, but even more like peppery. It's so good, so delicious. And the actual chip themselves are huge. They're like this big. If you guys have seen those dippers in the stores, I think like Tostitos makes them, but like they're really good for dipping because of that like curvature right here. So these are delicious. And I usually try to limit myself to only getting one of these snacks per trip to Trader Joe's. But I knew I was going to be making this video, so I kind of allowed myself to get all my favorites so that I could show you guys. So this is going to be a real test of my willpower, having all these, like, right here. So, but yeah, these are awesome. These are a great mix of salty, sweet, and spicy. I just, I absolutely love these. So speaking of corn, I do pick up a lot of vegetables and fruit from Trader Joe's. They're my favorite place to get them because I just find that the quality of fruit is better than a lot of the places around me and a lot more inexpensive than say like Whole Foods. I rarely ever go to Whole Foods due to the price. So they are my go-to. So this is really good. This is their roasted corn in the frozen food section they also just have like regular corn they also have elote corn now that comes with like the spices that i mentioned in those chips and also like in a mayo base so you can make your own at home i like to make chicken chili as well as various stews and things like that and i also will add this to my chipotle bowls when i get home because i don't like the corn at chipotle because it has onions mixed in so this lets me do my little thing where I can get corn without the onions so this is very good the corn is super duper sweet probably the weirdest thing about me and my pickiness is that I don't eat anything with tomato sauce I don't eat pizza sauce I don't eat traditional tomato sauce I don't eat ketchup and I don't eat pasta sauce so that makes things very interesting when I go out to restaurants or if I'm looking for like certain pre-made foods like frozen pizza mostly is out of the question for me um, frozen pasta dishes unless they're like cream based or an olive oil and garlic based so Trader Joe's again has come in clutch for me in my first ever time being able to get a frozen pizza 
that doesn't have any of the stuff that I don't like on it. This is actually one of the most popular pizzas. Sometimes it's sold out when I go. Whenever I'm able to snag some, I stock up. This is their burrata and prosciutto with arugula flatbread. And I'm the type of picky either that there's usually something that I have to pick out of something, but this is one of the few things that everything on this I like and enjoy. You've got your prosciutto, arugula. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I don't mind it on this pizza. And also it has a cream-based sauce, not tomato. So I love that. And these are really affordable. They're like five bucks and they're very, very filling. I've added like garlic sauce on top of this. I've added buffalo sauce. It's a really good base if you want to add your own stuff to it too. Next up is the fettuccine alfredo. This one is actually my number two pasta. I'll show you my favorite pasta of all time next. You can add in chicken or whatever proteins or vegetables that you want, but usually I just eat this just how it comes. I might add a little bit of extra cheese. This is another really good pasta that you can customize to the flavors that you like and very, very tasty. Now this next pasta was sold out for like two months. One of the best that I've ever had in my entire life, not just from a grocery store. I mean in like restaurants, this stuff is delicious it is so flavorful so creamy the cheese has so much intensity it has a really nice pepper presence it is just amazing so when I didn't see it for two months I was very sad because this is like stocked in my freezer I have like seven of these right now and it is the Trader Joe's cacao e peppy I don't know if I'm saying that right but y'all behold so this is spaghetti in a rich creamy sauce with pecorino romano cheese and black pepper. For my little picky heart, this is like dream status. All you've got is cheese, pepper, and noodles. That is like me all day. I love this. It is so good. The sauce on it is delicious. The noodle quality, the noodles are so bouncy and chewy and just, it's such a well-made pasta. They really like knocked it out with this one. And it's always sold out. So whenever I see that they're stocked up, I stock up as well. It is so good. You can add meat to it, but I eat this just as it is. I might add a little bit of cheese to it afterwards, but this is such a flavorful pasta. I would rather have this than Olive Garden any day of the week. It is so, so good. And I think these are like four bucks and it's a really nice portion. I'm sure you're not supposed, it says on the back, you're supposed to have three servings per container, but I don't do that. <laughs> but it is really good, very filling. And this is just, you guys, if you like Alfredo, if you like very cheesy things, this is so good. And again, you can customize this. You can add prosciutto, salami, Italian sausage, chicken, whatever your heart desires. Um, if you're healthier than I am, you can add any sort of vegetables that you like, but this pasta is so flavorful. And I think this is my favorite thing ever from Trader Joe's. I absolutely love this. Diving into some healthier items now. These are the Persian cucumbers from Trader Joe's. They are seedless, sweet, and crunchy. These are so good. I don't like salads. I find that there's a lot going on in a bunch of salads, and I'm trying to get into them more, just incorporating things that my palate actually likes. So this is definitely one of my go-to's. I'll do a simple salad of these cucumbers with some pepper and some rice wine vinegar and it is so delicious. But these are different than traditional cucumbers. As you can see, they're smaller. Also, they are seedless, so you don't have to worry about the seeds. And I don't like the seeds. I find that they're like a weird texture, so I don't, I'm not a fan. So these are perfect. And they're also very, very crunchy. And as the description has here, they are sweet. So I like that combination of texture and the sweetness very very good they would also be good mixed in with any other type of salad ingredients that you have because of all that texture that they add to the mix and i just love these i had two of these but i was really hungry when i got home fresh cut cantaloupe from trader joe's and i love their cantaloupe because it is very very sweet sometimes you'll get cantaloupe from places and it doesn't have a lot of flavor but theirs from trader joe's is always very sweet, very good and juicy. So I love this. I also like getting it pre-cut even though it's a little bit pricier because I just find that the flavor is better in most instances than if I get like a whole cantaloupe. Um, unless it's like their season, then I'll get a whole cantaloupe every once in a while. But this I can get from Trader Joe's all year round and it tastes really, really good. Next up is Brussels sprouts. So they come pre-seasoned with a little bit of black pepper as well as some salt and a lot of garlic, which is what I love. And I'll add my own garlic, balsamic vinegar, and some bacon that I'll be showing you guys. Best bacon I've ever tried in my life. So I'll add that to these and roast them and they make a really delicious 
lunch or dinner very filling these are nice big cut brussels sprouts so they're not tiny and wimpy these are one of the few vegetables that i actually look forward to eating and that i really enjoy the trader joe's matcha green tea ice cream is another favorite of mine now ice cream is my kryptonite that is the main food that makes me break out over the holidays i had huge amounts of breakouts because i went to wegmans and i picked up their creme brulee ice cream which is divine and i ate like all the ice cream within like a very short amount of time and my skin freaked out and it's just now getting back to being clear after that but this ice cream satisfies that craving but it's not as rich and buttery as some other ice creams that you might see the green tea is actually really refreshing when you eat it and it doesn't feel as heavy on my stomach when I have this but it's still really really tasty and I've never had an ice cream that's actually refreshing it kind of tastes like a less matcha version of the Starbucks matcha green tea latte spoiler alert it's already gone I could not resist this is so good I knew I was in trouble with this video because I was getting all my favorites at once but yeah it, as you can see it's it's very very good now slightly healthier version than that one even is the mango sorbet from Trader Joe's and you get a lot in this container I really enjoy this in the summer because it just tastes like a frozen mango it is so refreshing and cooling and it just bursts with a ton of fruit mango flavor so I will say that this does have a lot of added sugar so it's not the healthiest thing for you but if you're looking for like a nice treat and if unlike me you actually have willpower then this one is really good to satisfy that sweet tooth another favorite in the frozen variety is the Japanese style fried rice it has edamame tofu and seaweed this is another really good base you can add anything that you want to it I'll usually just eat this by itself and I might add some rice wine vinegar and teriyaki sauce just to pump up the flavor a little bit but it has a really good base of flavor already which is good and I do pick out the carrots I'm not a fan of them but I do love the edamame and the tofu and seaweed that's in here last summer when I was really into like my fitness and getting in shape these were one of my go-to dinners or lunch or whatever shrimp seafood burger it has very simple ingredients it has shrimp pollock sunflower oil rice flour salt garlic powder and spices super simple it doesn't have any added onion which for me is perfect because I don't like onion and with a lot of things like this you're gonna have like added onion or added peppers or vegetables with my picky heart I don't like that I like the flavors of those things but I don't like the actual things I don't know why I'm like this but this is perfect for me the ingredients are super simple and you can jazz it up any way that you like I'll just cook this on the stove with a little bit of oil and I might add like an habanero sauce to it afterwards to like really give it some big flavor and if you like seafood this is another one that I highly recommend next up are the mini beef tacos from Trader Joe's and the reason that I love these is because again they don't have a bunch of ingredients that I don't like in them they have a little bit of a chili puree I believe they don't have any added onions or tomatoes because tomatoes I don't mm -mm, we don't do that over here so I love the fact that this is just super duper simple you just pop these into the oven Oven for a little while and they're very flavorful cute little mini tacos and of course you can add the traditional toppings to them if you want but if you're picky like me it's just so nice to just have a nice simple ingredient list that doesn't have like a bunch of things that you're not a fan of so again Trader Joe's is my go-to for frozen things because it just fits with my weird singular palette <laughs> the way that I like my foods they just have a really good variety of options for me there the orange mango and peach juice is absolutely delicious I have to be really really careful with this because I can drink this all the time and it is so sweet and sugary I almost drink this like a dessert now or I try to at least but it is so good so fruity and tropical I love this it is a very very potent sweet juice so if you don't like stuff that's super sweet I don't know if you'll be a fan of this one but next up is 100% pineapple juice I love pineapples they're one of my favorite fruits but I'm a little bit allergic to it I'm sure a lot of you have had the same experience they said because of the bromelain in pineapples that helps to break down the enzymes and meats and stuff it can kind of like itch or make your tongue feel itchy because it's like breaking down like your tongue pretty much and with kiwis I get that same like weird itchy feeling so pineapple juice is the perfect way for me to actually enjoy the flavor of pineapples without it making my tongue feel all weird and itchy this has a very strong flavor so it pairs well by itself and also if you want to add some vodka or rum to it it's a really nice base as well now Trader Joe's has a lot of seasonal items as well that only come back during certain times of the year they also discontinue products pretty frequently so if you fall in love with something and you don't see 
seed again it's either seasonal or they've gotten rid of it and then you're really sad like me still missing my lemon pepper pasta that they got rid of years ago I always check to see if they brought it back but they haven't yet but this one is really popular and it comes back every fall this is their cinnamon bun spread and this is basically cinnamon and nutmeg those same spices that you would see in like cinnabuns mixed with honey and it's just really really good I'll just take a spoon and go to town with this but you can also add it to toast or bagels and drizzle it over ice cream as well I haven't opened this one yet I still have had some type of restraint two more of my favorite pastas from Trader Joe's are the sweet Italian sausage four cheese ravioli and the cacao -y pepe ravioli so this came out the same time that the spaghetti came out that i show you guys the spaghetti is still my favorite but if that one is out of stock i will pick up one of these two gladly this one again perfect for me because it doesn't have any added like tomatoes or peppers or anything like that this one is sweet italian sausage ricotta cheese spinach mozzarella cheese provolone cheese and romano cheese in these cute little raviolis and i'll just toss this in some olive oil with some added cheese and lemon and that will be the sauce that I use for this one. And I'll do the same for this pasta. This is thin stuffed black pepper pasta with ricotta and pecco romano cheeses. So this one doesn't have any meat. So that first portion that you guys just saw was filmed in January and we are now in May. And somehow between those two time periods, the rest of my Trader Joe's footage got deleted. But I think that might have been a good thing because in those four or so months, I've discovered some new favorites in addition to the ones I was already going to show you guys. So we are going to jump in with one of the seasonal items that Trader Joe's has. So I'm going to try to get this video out sooner than I planned now in this current whatever we're doing because this particular item is only here for a limited time so if it kind of piques your interest you can check it out before it's gone for a whole nother year. And that is the very polarizing synergistically seasoned popcorn that is such a tongue twister but here it is as you can see we've got a lot of adjectives going on tangy salty smoky spicy sweet and all of that is the case this is a very very flavor packed popcorn this is probably the most flavorful popcorn i've ever tried in my entire life and i like big bold flavors so i love this that's also one of the reasons that a lot of people don't like it so try it out see what you think i think this was only like two bucks for this big bag and it's filled up all the way to here where my thumb is so you get a lot to try so since i just talked about a seasonal item i want to briefly mention some of the other seasonal things that i like that i of course don't have now i actually just missed a seasonal item that i never got to try my best friend went to San Francisco and he brought me back the best egg tarts in the city from his visit and Trader Joe's had some egg tarts around that same time but these were like a Portuguese version and I meant to go get them because I follow a lot of Trader Joe's food reviewers on Instagram and everyone basically was like these are ridiculous they are like get them I just went and re up two days ago at the grocery store and I went right to the freezer section and they were gone they were only there for like a month so if you see something that you like at Trader Joe's get it because you might not have another opportunity and you never know if it's going to be seasonal or if it's going to be permanent or if you'll never see it again so it's one of those things and that is another product that I have here which is black garlic Ooh, so I love to watch like I'm a foodie even though I'm picky so I love to watch like Top Chef and a bunch of food reviewers on Instagram and YouTube I love Mikey Chen he's awesome so I had heard about black garlic and I always wanted to try it because I'm already a fan of regular garlic and this is dry black garlic I add this to my instant noodles to add like a depth of flavor it's like caramelized it has like a rich deep flavor and just adds like a nice nuance a nice body to like whatever you're adding to it I like to add it to my pasta sauces it's just good for a variety of things but when I went to check to see if they had this anymore I didn't see it so I don't know if this will be back I highly recommend this it gives that same like full body flavor to garlic but it's a little bit deeper so I love that I hope they come back with it because I've been using this a lot lately this is a brand new item at Trader Joe's so the jury is still out and if it's gonna stay but this is their crispy jalapeno pieces and I love spicy food this is literally just little thin slivers of jalapenos that are fried I saw on Instagram that people put these on their burgers for like a little added crunch and spice they put them on top of mac and cheese they put it on top of pasta dishes and I've just been eating them like as potato chips this is what they look like oh it smells so good 
and I don't find these to be spicy at all just like it has a bare bare even like whisper of spice now this one is not permanent yet I don't think but I think it will be because it sells out like this and this is the everything but the bagel kettle chips these are so good these are not mine actually these are my best friends but I'm just using them as a little prop because I also love them but I got a lot of chips <laughs> last time because I knew I was gonna make a continuation of this video so I let myself kind of like go off during our last Trader Joe's trip so if any of these sound interesting to you you can kind of be on the lookout for them because they tend to come out around the same times every year so the first thing that I discovered this year that I wish I would have got like eight boxes of was their mochi cake it's a Hawaiian inspired cake it's very very, very chewy so the texture is one of the things that makes it very polarizing for people you either love it or you hate it so I love it though I think it's so good and unique and it's one of those like mix in so you make it at home I don't like to bake but I made an exception for that it's not overly sweet I really enjoyed it and that one came out around February and it was gone by like the middle of March so that's when the mochi cake mix comes out another seasonal favorite is their Thanksgiving chips I don't know if that's the official title but they are basically potato chips that are inspired by Thanksgiving they have like those rosemary thyme like stuffing type of seasonings it's basically like Thanksgiving in a bag pretty much people go crazy for those chips they come out around Thanksgiving my best friend he absolutely loves them and I do too but I went like off the first time that I tried them and I kind of got sick of them but last year I got like a couple bags similarly they have a I think it's called everything but the leftover spice kind of like the everything but the bagel seasoning which is similar it has those like Thanksgiving flavors those rich delicious spices that you get around Thanksgiving time they're very comforting and homey in a spice form so people put them like on top of baked potatoes they put them on top of french fries you can do a lot with it you can add it to different meats and stews and that one sells out quickly I've never tried it but I hope I can finally get it this year because that one again goes really quickly they also have this vanilla bean spread that's supposed to be really popular that comes out around like november december when people are doing a lot of holiday baking that's another one that sells out really quickly and i've never been able to get it and people also go crazy for it because it's supposed to be really high quality vanilla beans for a really good price and I feel like I'm forgetting something and then after this video I'm gonna be like oh I meant to mention that so moving on to stuff that is permanent that are like my mainstay staples I know they're not going anywhere at least they better not my favorite cheese that I've ever tried not just from Trader Joe's but just anywhere is their unexpected cheddar this is one of the most popular items at Trader Joe's I think this is their best-selling cheese it is so good so right there it says it, it it tastes like an aged premium cheddar with a hint of parmesan and this is so deeply flavorful like i have just eaten just the cheese by itself as a snack because it is just epic i want this on everything it has that richness of cheddar with that kind of like sharpness of parmesan i love parmesan it's my favorite cheese so having it with like the full bodiedness of cheddar this is good on burgers it's great on top of pasta it is just so versatile and delicious it also comes in a shredded version in a bag which is convenient but you get so much less than if you just buy the block and plus that one is more expensive so you don't need a lot of it for it to really make a huge impact on whatever you add it to next up are the maple chicken breakfast sausages these kind of give you that similar vibe if you pour like syrup on top of like your breakfast sausages or your bacon that mix of sweet and savory that I love and I like them like any time of the day breakfast lunch dinner or whatever I'm probably gonna fry up a couple of these for dinner with like a side of broccoli soon because I'm trying to get healthy again but <laughs> it's not going very well kind of sort of similar to that whole breakfast train is my favorite bacon that I have ever had in my entire life this is the uncured black forest bacon it is thick look at that it's so mm, so thick so delicious to the point where I can have like a few slices of this for dinner and I'm full like with a side of vegetables or something when again when I'm being like kind of sort of healthy it doesn't just like shrivel away like a lot of other bacon because it's that thick cut and it's just the quality is so awesome it has like a sweetness to it I like my bacon to be more on the tender side I don't like crunchy bacon I combine this with the Brussels sprouts I only use one slice of bacon for that whole package of Brussels sprouts because it's so thick and meaty that I don't need a lot dried white peaches a lot of dried fruits they don't have a lot of moisture content left so they can be a little bit crunchy but these are very tender living where I live I can't get fresh peaches and nectarines all year round even though I wish I could as you can see you get a lot in the package these are like $4.99 but they last for a long time and 
I'm filming this in May and these don't expire until December. I'm not a big oatmeal person, but this is one that I actually like. This is their organic oats and flax instant oatmeal and instant is the truth. This comes in little packs and all you do is dump it in the bowl, add a little bit of water. I use the same pack that it comes in, so I add it up to not the like opening, but right underneath it and then just use that same packet to pour in the water, pop this in the microwave for a minute and you're done. As you can see, it has little tiny bits of flax seeds in there, so it feels like I'm like a little extra healthy because of that. Sometimes I will add a little bit of granola just for some extra crunch and dimension and I also do like maybe nutmeg and cinnamon but that's all and I noticed when I went to Trader Joe's on Saturday that these are now kept in the refrigerated aisle and it is their habanero lime flour tortillas they are so flavorful and don't be scared because it says medium hot I am someone who loves very spicy food but I think that even someone who is not really down with the spice could handle these I use this to make breakfast tacos regular tacos with like chicken or shrimp or beef um, adding like broccoli in there and whatever other toppings it just jazz things up a lot more than just regular flour tortillas next up is the yuzu hot sauce which is a very unique hot sauce I add this again to like tacos quesadillas and the thing that's unique about this is that it's like a sweet Sweet citrus the yuzu fruit is mixed with the spiciness of the chili peppers and like the sour of the vinegar but this is like a really nice bright fresh hot sauce these are a new favorite and as you can see they are very well loved like there's barely anything left this is the honey wheat pretzel sticks and they are what I always see described on like the Trader Joe's Instagram accounts as like an unassuming like best of the best at Trader Joe's that a lot of people kind of don't think about. They're very simple. It's just like slightly sweetened pretzel sticks with some salt. I'm going to show you guys one because I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> but they're just very, very simple. They're a really nice snack. I can see these being great for kids or adults because it has a very mild flavor. It's just barely sweetened by the honey. And this has these like little grains of salt. It also makes a really nice like vehicle for dips. And I meant to get this to show you at Trader Joe's, but being that I went on a Saturday, it was like the Hunger Games in there. Like people were like dipping and diving and it was just crazy. But Trader Joe's has this pub cheese in the refrigerated dip section where they keep with the hummus and stuff. And it's just like a really nice creamy cheese dip. It doesn't have any onions or anything. So perfect for me. And I get it in the sharp cheddar variety. It also comes in like jalapeno cheddar. But this would be perfect for that dip. It's really sturdy and it has like subtle flavor on its own that won't overwhelm the dip. And it'll just complement it I think. Just these are really good. You can get this whole big bag for like $1.99 and I think it was up to like here which shows you just how much I loved it that it's now down to here. <laughs> Another favorite juice of mine is the country peach. It's not pure peach. It's got a mix of apple juice and white grape juice as well as pineapple juice. I didn't know that. No wonder I love this so much. It's like all the things that I love. So it's kind of like a mix of different fruits, but the peach flavor is very pronounced. And last but not least, this is a new product from Trader Joe's. This is their roasted garlic and pesto pizza with deep fried crust. Mmm. So it has four Italian cheeses with a cashew and pine nut pesto. That's that like green stuff you see here, as well as a chewy Naples style crust. And this is another option that I can eat ready made because it doesn't have tomato sauce. One of the common complaints about this particular pizza is that it doesn't come with enough of the pesto sauce. And I totally agree. Like the packet is so teeny tiny. So if somehow the people at the head of development from Trader Joe's ever come across this video, even though I'm sure they've gotten emails by now from people about this, Please make the pesto sauce packet bigger because this stuff is delicious and I'm not a big pesto person but this one's really good. So you can of course customize it, you can add meats to it, veggies, your own additional sauces. Those are my staple favorites from Trader Joe's. I always have them stocked up in the house because they make the temptation not to go out and eat constantly a lot easier because it's all stuff that I really enjoy. Trader Joe's is always coming out with new things. They have stuff that's been there for a while that I'm still looking at to try. So there'll be another video like this down the road I'm sure. So if you enjoyed this one please give it a thumbs up that helps my channel big time and if you haven't subscribed already please do so as well. That would be awesome. Hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you very soon in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.